From the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK4 News at 4. As the news about COVID-19 rapidly evolves, we know you continue to have questions about the ongoing pandemic. And that is why we are continuing our COVID-19 talk segment today with Dr. Wendell Pauls of Baptist Health. He joins us now. Thank you, Dr. Pauls, for joining us. Thank you for having me. And we just talked about a new Johnson & Johnson study out today showing that two doses of its vaccine offers 94% protection against COVID. So what does this mean for the future? Can we expect that second dose soon for J&J? Certainly we'd expect it reasonably soon. There's still a process that they have to go through to get it approved through the FDA and everything. Most likely we're going to see it sometime in October, maybe early November, but probably October is what I believe most people are believing. And you're right. If we think in terms of instead of boosters and extra doses, if we just think of this as a second dose of the vaccine to make sure that everybody has uh, optimized uh, antibody levels, uh, that probably is a better way to conceptualize it. And Dr. Pauls, we talked about kids and vaccines, specifically five to 11 year olds. Do you expect a recommendation for five and under anytime soon, maybe in the next few months? Uh, it's probably gonna be well into 2022 before we actually see anything for under five years old. We do think sometime in the near future, we'll see uh, recommendations uh, for the five to 11, given the Pfizer's rec uh, Pfizer vaccine's recent uh, 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 approvals. And speaking of that, children 5 to 11, this is a question from a viewer now. We know they're expected to get approval for that shot soon, hopefully around Halloween. We were talking yesterday, October. Kids mm -hmm. younger than that, closer, you know, we talked about that might be later into 2022. So the question from the viewer is, will these shots be yearly like the flu shot or will they stick with boosters for the time being? One of the realities of any of the coronaviruses is that they tend to mutate. <clears throat> and when viruses mutate, vaccines that were designed for certain types of uh, strains of the virus are become less effective as time goes on uh, with the mutations. The reality is we're probably looking at some type of annual vaccine at some point in time. I don't think anybody is there absolutely yet to know that, but most likely we're looking at a yearly vaccine. Yeah, that would be something that time will tell us is with much of this COVID-19 vaccine information, Dr. Pauls. Absolutely. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to answer our viewer questions. And of course, we want to continue to hear your questions about COVID-19. All you have to do is go to the KRK Facebook page right now and go to our pinned post for COVID-19 talks. You may actually get an answer here on air from one of our doctors.